Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, August 9th, and it is a beautiful day here in southeastern Pennsylvania. At least so far. It's pretty early in the morning. It's probably going to get hot, but that's okay. We'll live with it. I am currently loading a pipe. My Briar Spirit pipe that I call Janice. And Janice is filled with some, you guessed it, haunted bookshop. Sorry, I've been kind of boring with the tobacco choices lately, folks. Just, it's what I like, you know. And I honestly think, you know, a lot of people have contacted me recently asking if, I, if I'm if i trying the, uh, the C&D Sun Bear. So I can adjust you a bit. Seems like you're too high up there. That's better. Um... Ask me if I if I'm gonna try the C and D Sun Bear. Eh, I just I like what I've got here, you know. And I've fallen into that limited release trap a couple of times now, and the last one was Rustica. And honestly, I've told you there's nothing wrong with Rustica, but I found it disappointing. Um, it just wasn't what I was expecting. So, you know, when, when, oh, limited release, Sun Bear, or got some 40-year-old Perique or whatever, I, I don't know. I like what I got. I, and, and it is psychologically very powerful. You know, you get this, this sense of, well, if I don't buy a tin of that, I'm never going to be able to taste it. But there's a lot of things I'm never going to be able to taste. <laughs> so, I, I, I just, I'm kind of okay just letting them go now. And that's not to in any way disparage the folks that, that chase after those things. You know, I, I get it. Um, there are guys that like a lot of variety in their, in their pipe smoking. Uh, there are folks that smoke one pipe a week, and, and they might really want that to be a unique experience every time. Yeah, I get that. Uh, for me, it's a lot more than one a week, and I just kind of enjoy what I like. So... We're all different. That's what makes this world a wonderful place. I need a tamper. There we go. We are all different. And, uh... <laughs> I did something last night that I probably... Well, I was going to say I probably shouldn't have done. I, I don't know if I should have or shouldn't. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm really torn on, on this whole thing, so... As I've said many times, and some of you have chastised me for it, I try really hard not to be political. And somebody pointed out the last time I kind of skirted politics that it doesn't make sense to try to not be political because everything is political and there are important issues that you, you can't avoid. And, and I, I get that, and I agree with that. I actually strongly agree with that. But at the same time, I understand that you guys do not tune in here for politics, and, and I'm not going to turn this into anything that, that is politics. I, I just won't do that on YouTube. I, I just do not believe that this is um, my platform to do that kind of thing. So... That's about the extent that I'm going to say in terms of... So if you were about to change to another video, it's okay. I'm not going to talk politics. What? Sorry, the darn furnace came on. And uh, I was just about to tell you what I did last night that, uh, that I shouldn't have done. So I was talking about politics and how... Ah, oh, gee, I, I, I lost my train of thought. That's a shame. Anyway, what I did last night was I I posted one of these, um, the kids call them memes, but I think that's what French people call mimes, so I, I call them captioned pictures. Uh, you know, a picture with some writing on top of it and, and stuff. And I, I put it on Instagram, and I was in a mischievous mood, and I did it because it's the kind of picture that or the kind of caption the picture 
that you're going to look at and you're going to have one of two reactions. And, and there, there's no other way to react to this. You're either going to say yes or you're going to say, you bastard. <laughs> and that's, that's it. There's no other way to react to this. And I did it on purpose. I was just in that kind of mood. And I stand behind the sentiment. I, I meant what was in that, that caption picture. I strongly believe I'm on the right side of that argument. But despite that, I got responses to it. And yeah, I got the obvious, yeah, go, that, that's great kind of responses. Um, but I also got a few people that uh, contradicted it and, and basically told me I was a bastard. Um, which I don't care about. You know, it happens. It happens here. It happens everywhere. But what I do care about is that there was one person that, uh, you know, clearly is is opposed to what I what I indicated in this this post. And there's someone that I that I kind of know. There's someone that I respect. There's someone that I there's someone that I care about in the, in the sense that you can care about someone on social media. Um, and now they're, you know, I'm, I'm in a situation where I can choose to have a long protracted argument with them to no end. Or I can just say agree to disagree, which is, is kind of what I did. Uh, but now there's this, this discomfort between us, and I don't like that. You know, I don't, that's why I, I try to avoid politics, because I just don't think... I think there's enough things that are that are separating us, and politics is, is, is a big part of that, that we shouldn't be constantly throwing it in one another's face, or else we're going we're gonna to fall apart. You know, we're just going to fall apart as a society. And that's kind of what was behind this thing that I posted. But anyway. So, yeah, I just, I just don't like that. I, th I think it's a shame that it, uh, it has to come to that so often. Having said that, I do feel that I've got every right to express my opinion on things, and I've chosen to not do that here, but I think that I can do that on Instagram and Twitter. And <laughs> yeah, so, so one of the responses that I got, it just scared me. You know, they, they said, ah, stick, stick to pipes, most, uh, stick to no. Stick to pipes. Everyone doesn't think like you. And I thought, wow, that's terrifying. This this person actually thinks that everybody should think the same. And I don't want that. You know, I want people to disagree with me. I I, I don't want to live in a world where everybody thinks the same. That's terrifying. Um, and yes, there's going to be idiots. There's going to be people that think stupid stuff that shouldn't be thought, you know, but boy, if you prevent people from thinking, <laughs> you're in trouble. You're, you're, uh, you're, you're dancing to that Orwellian tune. Scary stuff, guys. Really scary how, how extreme some of the thought is, is becoming these days. And it's, it's both, both ways. So, if the person that I'm talking about here is out there and knows that I'm talking about them, I hope that you accept this as a truce. I, I did not want to start an argument. But I'm not going not gonna to not express my opinion. And I'm not going to ask you to not express your opinion. That, that should be good enough for everybody. In other news, as the viewer emits a, a massive sigh of relief, <laughs> in other news, a lot of folks have asked about the garden. There's some interest in the garden, so uh, I, I made a, a, a short video of that uh, this morning. And the video, I'll, I'll put it over top of this, 
But in order to do that, I'm going to need to know what you're looking at. And to know what you're looking at, I'm going to need to actually see the video. So, we strive for Yeah, that's one of the things that really characterizes the Canrod Piper YouTube channel is the is the tech savvy nature of the, the post. All right, so here you're seeing a video uh, of the garden. Tomato plants are over here. Um, hopefully, you can see there's some there's finally some flowers forming. Uh, I think we're getting there. Uh, it's been difficult. Uh, apparently, what I need to do right now is stress the plants. And that's been hard to do because we've just been having so much rain that the only way... Well, I don't know how to stress them. I have done appropriate fertilizer and all. Here's the cherry tomatoes. There's a couple. They're almost ready to pick. These, this variety is, uh, is sun bear, actually. No, no, that's the tobacco. Oh, they're sun something, and, the, and they're orange. These are the banana peppers. They're doing great. Uh, I always get a ton of banana peppers. That's a tobacco leaf on the side there. Um, I always get lots of banana peppers, and I love them. So there's a couple hiding back there. And here is the burley. And you can see the burley is doing just fine. Uh, nice big leaves. Very velvety, very, very nice. Uh, I wanted to show you down here that the darn thing grew sideways for a while. So it's actually about six inches taller than it uh, appears <laughs> because it, it, for some reason, grew sideways. Uh, and that's the smaller one in the back, which is just smaller because it's not getting as much sun. And here we've got the uh, cucumbers, which have just taken off. So so this ladder thing that you're seeing here is actually an old ladder that I temporarily stuck in here to uh, become a, uh, a a trellis for the rose bush behind it. But you can see that this cucumber has just taken to that rose bush like it's its own personal trellis. So, anyway, that's that's the uh, the main garden right now, um, and it's it's doing fine. I mean, we're there's just two of us. We're not trying to feed an army, and uh, I enjoy it. I just enjoy growing the the plants. Uh, I've got a batch of ground cherries from our CSA. I don't know if you guys all know what ground cherries are. Um, they're Similar to gooseberries, if you're familiar with those. Um, and apparently these are not difficult to grow. So I'm going to try to, to save some seeds from them. And I'll, I'll put a picture of some ground cherries in here just so you can see what they, they look like. They're, they're really interesting little uh, little berries. Um, they, they're kind of... The best way to describe them is they're a cross between a tomato and a grape. Um, they, they look like a little cherry tomato, and they taste like a grape. And they cook very nicely. They take um, you know, a little bit of sugar and, and some lemon, and, and they, the flavor really burst out of them. Uh, and I'm planning later today to try to, uh, not, not that I'm a great baker or anything, but my wife had no interest in the ground cherries, so I'm going to try to make a either a ground cherry pie or a ground cherry tort, something like that, just to to use them up because they were in the CSA. Um, but I'm going to save some seeds because uh, they're apparently easy to grow and I, I thought it would be kind of neat to have some ground cherries next year. We'll see what happens. In terms of shop news, I finally bought a new shop vac. Um, broke down and did it yesterday. Still in the box over there. Um, the old one is still in pieces right over there. And I really got to, that, that's one of the things I've got to do later today is put that back together to the extent that it can go out in the trash and then get the new one out and, and get it set up. And uh, because I, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll put another picture in here. You can see on my, um, my belt sander, I made one stem and, you know, just how much stuff has accumulated on the darn thing. So... It's really important to have that that dust collection capability, and I don't want to tie it into my wood shop dust collection collector. Um, 
because I just like to keep that wood. I don't know why, but I, I don't want to have uh, vulcanite and, and acrylic going through the same system that the wood is going through. Um, I, I'm just concerned that there'd be static charge issues and stuff. That may just be silly, but anyway, I've always used the shop vac on the sander, and that's what I'm going to keep on doing, but i got to get the darn thing set up. And I got a long list of other things to do today. I gotta put air in my tires. My car has mysteriously uh, lost air in all four tires. Not, not to the extent that there's a you know they're flat or anything, but they're all they're all low. I'll take the compressor out and do that. I'll check my wife's car while I'm at it. Oh, there's three or four other things I'm supposed to do. Anyway, they will they will not go away for sure. But for now, I'm going to drink some coffee, finish up this pipe, and then get to work on the belt center. So folks, I hope you all had a great weekend. Looking forward to a great week ahead. Uh, I hope you all have lots of good stuff in the coming. So with that, I'm sorry I'm, I'm, I'm a little uh, distracted right now because I feel like there's something else I needed to say, but this has gone far too long anyway. So with that, take care, and until we talk again, I will look forward to speaking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.